Good morning, everybody. Mark in the home weather office on this Monday morning. It's the third day of April 2023. You're watching the morning briefing. And as I look out the window of the office of the home office this morning, it's bright and sunny and it's nice to see the sun, but man, it is chilly again. Temperatures in the valley this morning were in the 30s. Saw Auburn was down to 28 for a while this morning, but now we have bright sunshine and things are gonna be warming up. However, while we'll have a lot of sunshine today in the valley, um, it isn't going to warm up all that much. Daytime highs will still be as much as 10 degrees below average. The average high for this time of year is 70 degrees. And consider that by the end of this month, the average high is 77. So this higher sun angle should be having more of an impact than it will be during the course of the day today. Let me show you what's going on this morning. This is the satellite as the sun comes up first thing in the morning. And as you can see, the valley is nice and clear, but we are still hanging on to some of the cloud cover over the Sierra. There has been snow in the mountains overnight. And as I'm recording this, uh, there are chain controls up on 80 and 50, but those will likely be lifted. But there will be some snow showers during the day in the Sierra. And I wouldn't be surprised if a few clouds pop up in the valley floor. But for the most part, it is going to be one of those days that looks really good, but it just doesn't feel that good. At least it won't be all that windy. Let's go ahead and get to some of the model stuff. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, the, uh, the NAM Nest. This is a high resolution NAM. And what you'll see here are the snow showers that are expected in the Sierra during the day today. Little in the way of accumulation. We may see, you know, an inch here or there, that sort of thing. Um, but still, keep in mind that if you are driving up over 80 and 50, you might find some slippery spots even if the chain controls are lifted. This is at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, the valley is dry, but wouldn't be surprised if we squeeze out a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds, but it's going to be tough with this very dry air that's in place. Uh, but still, we might see a couple of clouds pop up as we get some heating of the day. Whatever moisture is in the air will produce a couple of fair weather clouds. That's about it. So dry in the valley. And then this is Tuesday. Tuesday morning, man, it's going to be cold again. We'll see valley temperatures probably colder than this morning. There was a breeze this morning, and the breeze at night tends to keep the air a little bit mixed. And as you can see, first thing tomorrow morning, uh, there really isn't much in the way of a pressure gradient. These black lines are isobars. You don't see them packed close together. The winds will be light first thing Tuesday morning. So Tuesday morning is likely to be colder than it was this morning. And then as we head through the day on Tuesday and into the day Wednesday, everything stays quiet. However, this is a Wednesday morning. You notice looking off to the west and to the north is rain. So there's a lot of question about the end of the week. Let me show you what's happening. So this is the precipital water out in the Pacific. So the scale here, let me move this just a little bit so we can get California better into the screen. Here's California. Uh, these are the Aleutian Islands. There's Alaska. Uh, Hawaii's down here somewhere. And what you're looking at here is water in the atmosphere. And over California right now, the air is very, very dry. But what we're going to be looking at is these areas of, I never know what color to call that. Is that teal? Tealish blue? It's somewhere between uh, green and purple, I guess. Anyway, that's high levels of moisture. And I'll watch what happens as we get toward the end of the week. A classic atmospheric river develops right here. So this is Thursday night, long line of moisture out into the Pacific, and it stays aimed at California, just like this, like right here. This is Friday afternoon. Still some uncertainty about exactly where that is headed. However, it does look as though it could give us a chance of rain. So let me show you the overnight GFS run. Now consider, this is just the latest run and the runs have been kind of going back and forth. But I pick it up here on Wednesday and as we go through, you'll see that atmospheric river just off to our north. And this is gonna be the key, is the thing about atmospheric rivers, let me talk about this a little bit more. The thing about atmospheric rivers is that they tend to focus the area of heaviest rain in a narrow area. And that's kind of why they're called an atmospheric river, because everything stays in a, in a tight channel. And in the middle of that channel, you get your heavy rain. We've seen that a lot this, this winter. Um, so depending on where that lines up is where you get your heavier rain. On the edges of it, you get a little bit of rain. And then a little bit farther away, you get almost no rain at all. So the forecast for the end of the week is going to depend on exactly where this thing sets up. So let's get back to this. This is uh, Thursday night. And then into the day on Friday, you know, we start seeing rain into the Sacramento area. 
uh, but not much. Southern California looks like it misses this completely. Some snow in the Sierra. This does look as though it would be a little bit warmer. This is Saturday morning. If this is true, the snow level would be up around 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet with light accumulations. The difference with this atmospheric curve too is that notice that the pressure gradient is very weak. So this isn't like a lot of the ARs we've seen earlier that also come with some very strong winds. And then this would be uh, getting into the day on Sunday. But either way, it looks as though we're not really confident that the end of the week is going to be sunny in 75. It should be warmer, but I think earlier forecasts calling for dry weather at the end of the week may need to be adjusted. I do want to point out the, the precipitation amounts from that model, and you'll clearly see the way this atmospheric river sets up. This is into the day on uh, Sunday. So look at up here on the north coast. Uh, <laughs> the model spits out over four inches of rain um, up here on the north coast. And toward the Redding area, actually the Shasta area, three and a half inches of rain. You get into the upper parts of Butte County, parts of Plumas County, more than two inches of rain. But you get to Sacramento, 0.18. You get to Modesto, uh, 0.11. You'll notice Southern California gets nothing. So light amounts of snow in the Sierra. Uh, There's maybe some good rain for the uh, areas from Nevada County to the north. We'll see. We'll have to see how all that goes. The bottom line is that we are going to have to include a chance of rain for Friday and Saturday, most likely, uh, with snow levels that will be higher. But it doesn't look as though it's going to be all that stormy. It just looks as though it's going to be a little bit wetter than maybe our previous forecasts have been saying. And really, it all depends on where that atmospheric river goes. However, the most consistent thing about the models lately has been taking that AR a little bit farther north, leaving most of the areas from, let's say, Chico to the south on the fringes of it, bringing us some rain, but not any big downpours. So I think that's going to be changing through the week and something we'll fine tune as we go through the week. In the meantime, today, good looking day, dry in the valley, same thing uh, for the day tomorrow, but just chilly for this time of year, a little bit warmer at the end of the week, but again, those chances of rain exist as well. That's all I have for you this morning. I'll be on KCRA tonight at 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. There'll be another YouTube update first thing tomorrow morning. If you like these updates, go ahead and subscribe. Make it a great day. I'll talk to you later.